Professor Dave and Chegg here. We are familiar with oxidation and reduction in the context of organic chemistry, as well as Grignard reagents and the transformations they induce. Let's revisit these concepts in the context of nucleophilic addition to the carbonyl. As we recall, there are a number of reducing agents that can act on carbonyl-containing compounds. Sodium borohydride can reduce aldehydes and ketones to give primary and secondary alcohols, respectively. This happens when a hydride attacks the carbonyl carbon, pushing the pi electrons in the carbonyl up onto the oxygen, and the resulting oxyanion is protonated by aqueous acidic workup. Lithium aluminum hydride can also reduce carbonyl-containing compounds, but it is more powerful, able to reduce not just aldehydes and ketones, but also carboxylic acids and esters. This occurs by the same mechanism, with hydride attacking the carbonyl carbon, and it is irreversible, as hydride is not a suitable leaving group. We also learned about Grignard reagents, and these act similarly to hydride in that they can attack a carbonyl carbon, but instead of hydride, it is essentially an alkyl anion attacking. Again, the pi electrons in the carbonyl are pushed up onto the oxygen, which had coordinated with MgBr, and this neutralizes the oxygen. Then hydrolysis occurs upon aqueous acidic workup to give the alcohol. So this is similar to reduction by hydride, but instead of a new carbon-hydrogen bond, it is a new carbon-carbon bond that is produced. This is a powerful synthetic technique, allowing us to build a larger carbon skeleton. As we recall, Grignard reagents can attack different carbonyl-containing functional groups. Aldehydes and ketones can be converted into secondary and tertiary alcohols, respectively. Esters can also act as Grignard substrates, allowing for two equivalents of the same Grignard reagent to attack, yielding a tertiary alcohol where two of the alkyl groups are identical. Grignard reactions are also irreversible, as a carbanion is not a suitable leaving group. And that completes a brief review of nucleophilic addition reactions that can occur at the carbonyl carbon, involving both reducing agents and Grignard reagents. Professor Dave for Check. See you next time.